I love you all that interview I'm here with. King Soul, the doctor, G365. Yeah, man. Uh, one of the one of the library most one of the library upcoming artists that's in his own lane and for things sure. like that. And I wanna give you respect for that. How did you get the name King Soul? That's my name. That's always been my name. Like my dad called me that. My dad the only person that really called me that name. Yeah. But that's like my middle name. Mm-hmm. So like when I first look like get into rapping. Yeah. I wasn't like in the right state of mind at the time. Like I was going through a lot and I was like mm-hmm. depressed and all that. So I was like, man, you know what? What the most solid thing I could think about? And it was like a rock. I'm like, yeah. this what I mean, like really mean, like rock. The mm-hmm. definition of soul is rock. Oh yeah, that's fire. So I was like, I'm gonna be that. Like no matter what go on around me, I'm gonna stay yeah. solid. I ain't gonna let nothing change me from being who I am. Yeah, man, that's, that's fire, that's fire. Uh, like me knowing you, like I know you to be like a soccer player and things like that. Yeah. I know you to play like you play like I think almost professional and things like that. You something was getting like, into it, something like that. And you was playing travel. That's why I know you for. It. And then when I saw you rapping, I was like, oh, he got a story to tell. People couldn't believe it. So why make you get in the rap? Why make you why, why make you get in the rap and left so- leave soccer and things like that? I was always into music as a kid. Yeah. Like when I was in sixth grade. I remember when I was in sixth grade, me and my cousin always used to like go to the after school music class, mm-hmm. just play around with it, play the little, little flute drum, little yeah. record the little thing we had, like little yeah. thing with the holes. And, yeah. So I always would play that. So like, but I never thought I could rap though. Mm-hmm. Like the first time I tried rapping, yeah. I hated it. Like I know myself, I know like good Why? music. I know good music, bro. Yeah. And I like, I criticize myself a lot. Because like, before somebody criticized me, I make sure I criticize myself. Yeah. So like when I listened to myself the first time, mm-hmm. it wasn't it. So I like took like a whole year off. I'm like I ain't gonna mess with rap. I'm gonna find something else. Mm-hmm. But then after I went to college for soccer and it wasn't like it turned out. It turned out not to be something I really wanted to do. Like mm-hmm. I didn't like it. After the first semester, I was like, man, I ain't doing this no more. What what, what was the family like? Uh, what was the family when when they first heard you when you first told them you was trying to get into rap? What was it like? Everybody, what was that thought, like? everybody thought it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah big like growing up, growing yeah. up, growing up, I was quiet. Like I really didn't like talk. I never expressed myself. Yeah. So like through music, I can express myself. Like a like lot of things I want, a lot of things I want to say to somebody. Yeah. I was saying my music. Yeah. That's 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 right. That's right. That's right. Oh man. Uh, yeah. And uh, I just want like know a couple of questions, a couple of things about you, and make the people want to know and things like that. Like uh. When did you realize music was your passion? It always been. Yeah. I always loved music, like just listening. To, like I was just a fan. Mm-hmm. I used to enjoy listening to Wiz Kid because, like, you know, it was calm. Like I like calm music because, like, in my head, I be going through a lot of wars. I be going through a lot of shit in my head. <laughs> so, like, the calm music just keep me cool. So, what did you look up to coming up when you started doing music? What did you What did you look up to, and that you still that still got influence on you? Like right when now? I started rapping music, yeah. Not nobody. I just seen like a lot of young, a lot of young people like me, a lot mm-hmm. of young niggas. Like mm-hmm. I seen like you know who Pound South Pop is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From, from, from Philly. North Philly. Yeah. I see like Rico Havoc. There was a lot of young people I seen around me. Yeah. They inspired me. Like if they could do it for their squad and make sure their friends get on, put on for the people, I can do the same. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Like I know, just like uh, I heard a lot of people talk. A lot of people talk when I ask a lot of people about you. They always recommend the, the music. One of your songs called Mill Ticket." Yeah, they love Mill Ticket." Yeah, oh. the Mill Ticket" and things like that. Like uh, how how did that song come about? I ain't gonna lie, Mill Ticket" was the quickest song I ever recorded. Yeah, how long did it that? Was like how long 30, was the Thirty minutes. How long was the creative process? Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. It was That's quick. crazy. And who who did that? Um, it was just one of them afternoon, like I was just chilling with the bros, mm-hmm. doing what we do, we just chilling. Yeah. And bro was like, I got this studio that you can go to. That was like my first time recording after the year. I took, I took the year off. Yeah. And he was like, I'm like, yeah, let's go see what's up. I was just playing around in the car, saying a lot of dumb <laughs> shit. They yeah. were like, man, we ain't going no more. We get to the studio now. They put mm-hmm. the beat on. Yeah. And at that moment, like you hear the beat, the, the beat got a little pause on the start. I was just like, let me show you the real me. And I just mm-hmm. went off on there. Like, if I had a meal ticket, it's basically mm-hmm. like, I was just saying, like, what if I had what I wanted, what I would do with it. Like, I would, I'm the type, like, if I'm eating, I make sure everybody around me eat too, everybody get on. All right. So, like, if I had a meal ticket, I wouldn't, like, change and be, like, a different person. 
Alright, that's good. Uh why make why make your music different from all the library artists and things like that that we notice like us we see a lot of people do trap call up do hip call up do like the Burma yeah. style and things like that. Why why make you why make your music different from everybody's music? The topic. Like mm -hmm. my music is calm and yeah. it's gangster too at the same time. Yeah. Because like that's really what I know. Like if I, if I wasn't playing soccer, I knew like if it wasn't sports, mm -hmm. it would be that. Yeah. And like Early on in my life, like I knew what it was, but like I wasn't ready for that. Okay. Like, I was trying to stay away from that. But like, you know what it is? Like, if, every, you. if everything go wrong, the streets is the only place they don't judge. Yeah, it's always open yeah. for new people. That's a fact, man. But like, I didn't just want to go and get in the streets and just like follow people, like just follow whatever I see, because like my mom always would tell me like, if you can't be a great leader, follow a great leader. And like I see a lot of people wasn't leading That's what niggas in the right path, so I wasn't like with that. Mm -hmm. I'd rather do my own thing till I find the right person to the right person to lead me. Yeah. And I was like, you feel me? But until then, I just like try to do what's best for me and people around me. So uh if you go link with a Liberian artist right now, right, to collab and things like that, I don't know if you be I don't know if you're trying to get into I don't know if you're trying to do collaboration with any artist, but if you go link with any Liberian artist right now, what would that be and why? First thing, like, I never declined a future a feature yet. Okay. Everybody that hit me up, I was open to work with them. No matter what, like, if people tell me, like, don't work with this person, mm -hmm. this music, not that. I know what it is to make music. It's not easy. Yeah. If you can have the coverage just to get in a booth and make a song, mm -hmm. you're already there. It might take some people 20 years to get the sound right. Mm -hmm. And it might take some people the first time to go in the booth. Mm-hmm. I've been in the booth the first time. Like, if you listen to my music now, when I first started, I was like doing melodies, I was singing and stuff. Yeah. Now I'm rapping. Like, yeah. It's a whole different. It's a different process. Like rapping is quicker. Like get in the booth, say a couple words that that rhyme, and just keep building on to it. Okay. But when you're doing like the melodies, you actually gotta know what you're talking about. Yeah. Make it sound right, or it's just gonna be all over the place. Okay. How do you describe your music? Um. How I describe my music? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. <laughs> yeah, uh, me, like G three sixty five, like my music, quick, like quick to, and to the point. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm making songs for the street, or like yeah. a turn up song, from the start you would know you would know what type of time on. Like from what I say, the first words I say, mm -hmm. you already know what's about to happen. So if you didn't become a musician or a soccer player, why 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 you think you would have been right now? Mm, a hustler. I'll just be outside trying to do whatever it is to make money. Just making money. Okay. I don't really like growing up I ain't really had too much like I ain't really had like too much options because like everything I do now, mm -hmm. these things I taught myself. Okay. I didn't like nobody really like taught me anything. I had to look out for myself, learn this, learn that. Mm -hmm. I ain't had no big brother too. Oh yeah. So I had to like try to learn stuff faster so I can teach my little brother that. So yeah. you know, like yo, you can do this and that, but don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Like you feel me? For me, I'm ready to tap on my little brother too, cause uh, I made sure he didn't smoke. He didn't do nothing. He didn't smoke. He didn't drink. But I'ma keep it a buck with him. If we have a right. spot where he got a drink, you know what I'm he saying? ain't gonna drive. We have a spot where he gonna smoke. He ain't got all like fishy and shit yeah. like that. He my just little brother, himself. my little brother, I don't think he really do that. But like, yeah. I just be telling him like, if you gonna do that type of stuff, just don't hide it from me. So I know what's up with you. So I know like when you get into a problem, yeah. I know how to like move, mm -hmm. how to move with it. So how do you get your music out there? Because uh, you know a lot of people go at you like hard time getting the music out uh, as an upcoming artist. But you, you, you got, you got, you got squads that like you got, you got niggas that you link up with, and that. Link up with different niggas and things like that. So how do you get your music out there and things like that? To get your music like um, everywhere and everybody ears and things. Cause yeah, yeah, some music is really going, it's really going crazy. And the crazy part about it, I didn't even promote it. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Like how like, do you get your song? It's been a out year there? now since I dropped that song, mm -hmm. and it's still like. I remember I told myself back then before I started rapping, if I was to ever do a song, everything hit like 10k in a year, I would start rapping. But now yeah. that I see like. It still didn't hit 10k. Mm -hmm. I know, like making the music and dropping it, that's just half of it. Mm -hmm. The promotion, the other things you do that I don't know about, mm -hmm. that's how your music get out there. Not just making a good song. 
Yeah. So what are you working on right now? So uh, as we're speaking, what are you working on right now? I'm getting tired of holding my music. I just want to drop everything. Like if I could drop like thirty songs.